This is just a little update on some of the batteries I've built and how they've been doing. This is one of the first batteries I ever made. This is three cells hooked in series. It's a water battery. Uh, galvanized steel conduit, copper wire, and tap water. Uh, the three cells in series are lighting that LED. In another month, this, this setup will have been working for three and a half years. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I do have to clean it up once in a while, and uh, I'm going to turn some lights on. You can see that the, uh, the zinc is starting to fatigue, uh, so let me turn those lights up now. Okay, we've got the lights on brighter now, and I'm going to turn this around, uh, this, uh, this cell here in the back seems to show it the best and I'm going to get in as close as I can. You can see that red rust forming on the outside of the conduit. Now that does clean right off. I use steel wool. Uh, in the almost three and a half years that this has been been working, uh, I've cleaned it maybe five or six times. So that's, that's uh, one of the first ones I ever made. This is another water battery that I've made. Uh, same, same concept, really. Uh, copper foil on the bottom, got a felt separator, and a piece of zinc. Now, this will also work with just a, a zinc washer, uh, but I, I get a little better results out of these little slugs that I make. And uh, this is running lid motors, uh, penny circuit and uh, has been for about a year and a half. I've never cleaned this one up. Uh, just keeps on running. Now this, uh, this cell right here running this circuit will run at about three quarter of a volt and anywhere from about 15 to 50 microamps. Uh, that's not milliamps, that's microamps, so this, that's very low draw. Now here uh, I'm going to show you a little way that you can uh, beef that up just a bit. And here's one that uh, has the copper foil, but then I put uh, about a, a couple of teaspoons of activated carbon, then the felt, and then place the zinc slug on that. Uh, give me just a second and I'll change that out. Okay, I've changed it out now, and uh, with that carbon in there, this thing will run uh, a full volt, and on this circuit, it, it will pull between 200 and 250 microamps, so it's, it's pushing a little more energy. The, uh, the carbon uh, really helps it. Okay, here's another setup that I really like. This uh, is a cell that uh, lid motor showed, and I know you can't see it, but this is stainless steel. Uh, is the uh, the two metals, both of them are the same. We have a separator in between, and these are rechargeable. And I've got this running off of a uh, small solar cell, and right now. Uh, I've got a lamp focused on it. Uh, I'm in a room. And you can see that that, that little LED is, is full on. Uh, and it says my batteries are at, at uh, 0.54 volts. And they're going to stay there. No matter how long I leave this on here, that's where it's going to stay. Now, I'm going to cover that up. And uh, this is kind of hard to catch. The blink rate uh, seems to be the same as the frame rate on my camera. But uh, it is it is blinking. Uh, let me turn this, this off and maybe you can see it blinking better. There you go. Uh, so it's, it's running off of uh, the batteries right there uh, by itself. And... Uh, this is really 
been a lot of fun for me because uh, what I originally tried were these three farad uh, three farad 2.7 volt capacitors uh, I have some circuits over here that I tried that in uh, as well as some uh, little paper weights and uh, they work okay but uh, they drain drain pretty quickly they won't make it through uh, a complete dark cycle where this will uh, I used one of these rechargeable cells on a lid motor penny circuit and uh, took the charger off of it and the cell ran that circuit for over three weeks so this is this is another one that that I've been really happy with these these are over a year old right now so thank you for watching